Yep. Yep. No way. In the same spot. <gasps> yep. Guys, I just spooked a fish right here. Look at this. What if I grabbed him? What if I grabbed him? That's a big one. We got a frog fishing pole and braided line. Today, we're gonna be frog fishing, as you guys can tell. I have not been frog fishing in Georgia yet, so I'm excited about that one. And I'm also curious if they're actually gonna eat a frog. The last couple of days, it has been so hot. Like today is 88 degrees, 88 degrees. That is insane, people. It has not been that hot in a while. But anyways, I have not been in town, and so I'm gonna be trying it out today. Let me show you guys exactly what frog I got today. So I had two of these like little Strike King frogs laying around. One of them I used for a giveaway that was recently. By the way, I will go ahead and pop the winner up on the screen right now. Go ahead and DM me on Noah Pescatelli uh, Instagram page and I'll get all the giveaway lures out to you. We gave away like six or seven things, but I had a frog that was similar. I don't think it was the same color, but it was similar to this in that giveaway. But yeah, it's just a standard little frog right here, not a popping frog. Um, we're gonna be fishing this thing in some ultra clear water today and see if some fish are gonna come up and eat it. As you guys can tell, the legs on it are a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna grab some scissors real quick and we'll cut that down. So what do I usually do, usually when they first like come out of the package, I don't like, you know, the tails that long or the legs, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to cut, I try to cut more or less off from the start just because sometimes I mess up. Did I mess up? Oh no, it's perfect. That is perfect. That's exactly how I like it right there. About two inches left for the legs and that is golden right there. So we're gonna go ahead and tie this on. I got this rigged up on a Pro TI rod. This is actually a heavy, and uh, it has the Mock Smash reel on it. Don't ask me why I have these two paired up. I actually think it's kind of cool, because who's doing it, bro? It's a little different, you know? Nobody, nobody got it like this out there, so I don't know. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna tie it on a rod, go out to the pond, catch some fish, you guys better stay tuned, I about fell over right there. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell also, hit the like button. Let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, let's tie this bad boy. Bad boy, well, let, me let me tie you on real quick, buddy. Yeah, you gonna get much today. At least I hope you're gonna get much today. I hope. If you guys have frogfish this year, let me know. Most of you guys probably haven't. I know a lot of you guys live up north and uh, don't get to go out as much. I totally understand that, man. I'm sorry about that. But um, down here, it has got hot very quick. And I'm hoping we can get a top order bite. I had a top order bite the other day here in Georgia. It's my first top order fish. Now it's time to put the frog into action. This is my favorite top order bait for the most part. I got I got a lot of top order favorites, but I love the frog. Alrighty. Now we're gonna get our trash and we're gonna throw it back in my truck. Do not litter, guys. That's one thing. Do not litter. I do not promote littering. That is not good. That's not that's not helping everything out, man. So always throw away your trash. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I haven't fished this place in about a year and a half. It's been a while. I don't even think, I might've filmed one video out of here. I've caught fish in here, but I probably only filmed one video. I don't even know if I have filmed a video. You guys hear that? There's a rattle or something in this frog. That's kind of crazy. I did not know that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Oh my God, he's right next to me. Watch this. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. Anyways, before we do this, all right, first cast is out of the way, bad luck's out of the way. I haven't fished this pond about a year and a half. I was going to film like an ultra clear water frog video, and I know this pond has super clear water. I did not even know that this nasty grass stuff was on top, which is gonna help us out so much. Oh my God. You guys already saw that fish come up in it. We're about to kill him. I, I didn't think we were even, I, I thought it was gonna be hard for us to even get a bite, but seeing that, that excites me. Let's see if we can catch a fish. I'm ready for my first frog fish, man. I am so ready for this. I have never been more ready in my life to catch a frog fish right now. Guys, my love for frog fishing. Oh my God. So if you were one of those people that like to hate on me for freaking out, you might as well go ahead and click out because I'm sorry. I just can't help it. I love frog fishing. Probably one of the most exciting things in the world to me. Just gonna have to deal with it. That point has a lot of shade on it. Oh, no. Well, my first frog bite of the year. That's still exciting. We didn't catch them, but that's still exciting. 
Ooh, dude, he had my freaking hook already coming out of that frog. Wow. Interesting. It was a perfect spot, honestly. It's off that point in a lot of shade. Like I said, this wind, I don't know if it's going to help this frog or not. Usually, in my opinion, I don't want no wind when I'm working a frog, but I guess we'll see. Right there in the shade. It's literally a snake. I'm pretty sure last time I saw a snake coming back here. I hate freaking snakes, guys. I like hate snakes. There, now that I'm thinking about, it, I'm pretty sure the other one time that I walked back here, there's a snake hanging from that tree. I hate snakes. Super large fish right there. No. I walked up on him. I spooked him. My frog would have, I gotta stop walking and casting with this frog. I've done that too many times. That didn't necessarily go as planned, but that is okay. We're gonna go try something else. I have another pond that, like I said, all of these ponds I haven't really hit in a while. I haven't been in Savannah fishing, but knowing that all that slop was on top of the water at that pond, there might be a chance that at this one there is as well. And if that's the case, we might get on a nasty uh, frog bite. I, <clears throat> I can't promise anything. I mean, I really thought we would have at least got one at that pond. That, that was funny. Like the, the initial thought going into that, I was like, I might get one. Then I walked up and I saw like all the slop and the fish hit right at the bank. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we're just gonna smack them. Then we ended up not catching anything. I might have jinxed myself, but uh, I'll catch you guys at this new spot. All right, here we go. Here he is. It has some slop on the water. It's exactly what we're looking for. This isn't the side I'm necessarily talking about, but I was gonna start here and see if we can entice a big one to eat. I did this before. I can do it again. Oh, how am I gonna get that fish? Oh my god. Yep. Yep. It fell out of a tree. Yes! Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was amazing. My first frog fish of 2020. <sighs> Calm down, Noah. <laughs> Dude, he ate that. Look at that, how it was sitting in his mouth. Beautiful little fish, only about a pound. But he freaking ate it. Look, so I was stuck in a branch and I yanked it out of the branch and it came fumbling down, hit the water. And right when it hit the water, he just destroyed it. Landed right on his home. That is a pretty fish, nothing big. But what can I say, man? First frog fish of 2020. That is so much fun. Let's get him right back in the water. Oh. I was gonna get more of a sexy release than that, but that's good. First fish right there on the frog. Let's get it. First one today. Let's keep it going. Oh, guys, that is so freaking exciting. I, that is literally the best bite in the world is on a frog. You guys try to convince me. Frog fishing, in my opinion, drop a comment down below. What is your favorite topwater lure? I'm telling you, mine has to be a frog, something about it. It's just so much fun to me. Oh, just, oh man. Throwing this thing on braid, throwing it in thicker stuff, throwing it in pads. And I mean, you can throw it really anywhere. It's just, as long as you're throwing around the bank and it's got some good cover, you can make a fish eat a frog. It doesn't matter how I'm catching them on a frog, as long as I'm catching them, this is a good time. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite top water is. And also what your favorite frog is of all, the, all time. No way! In the same spot! Oh my god, he's stuck! Oh, oh, oh my god! In the same... 
<laughs> in the same spot. It was literally the same. <laughs> that is so much fun. That is so much fun to me. Look at that. He freaking destroyed it. This frog is already getting like all eaten up really good off of these two fish. Of course, there's a plane above me right now. Oh, let me get this nasty stuff out of your mouth, buddy. Look at that bass. That one's a little bit better. He's not quite two pounds, but he's pushing it. He's just a long fish, skinny body. Beautiful. He was in the same exact spot as the other one. Good thing I made another cast over there. Gosh, we're off to a good start out here. Usually I don't catch them this small, but as long as it's on a frog, we're having a good time. Let's try to get a better release than last time. All right, baby. That was a little bit better. I still... <laughs> Uh, he slipped out of my hands. Whatever. We're going to keep fishing. This is where I think it's going to happen. I got somebody fishing to the right of me. I don't think he's throwing a frog, though. I feel like this thick stuff right here is going to be a fish. I feel it. Yep. That's a good one. That's a big one. Why do they look so big when they jump? Solid freaking almost three pounder. Looked like he was like freaking four. Golly. <laughs> Look at that. Right there on the frog, just freaking tanked that thing. That guy over there, I feel sorry. He's probably like, what the heck, dude? I've been fishing here forever. He ain't, he ain't even a three pounder. He's a two number. I couldn't even tell you what he is, but it is a beautiful fish. Needless to say, trying to get the shadows off this guy. Beautiful. Pretty. He tanked that thing. Right where I thought he was going to be. <laughs> it just looks too good over there. There might be another one, but that's a pretty fish. Get him back in the water. Thank you for biting. You were my third frog fish of the year. Third frog fish, buddy. And you're also the biggest frog fish so far. Thank you. Yeah. I really did think that was a big fish. I have not frog fished in a while. I'm getting a little too excited maybe. I know they look so much freaking bigger when they come up after a top water especially a frog for some reason it makes them look so big i cannot tell you why but some about a fish coming after a frog it makes them just look three times their size so look at that guys right there there's a bed right there nothing pushed up on it I already threw over that too but i really like fishing the shade and and throwing parallel to the strike zone obviously with the frog a majority of the time 99 percent of the time you're gonna be thrown out of the bank you ain't gonna take a frog and, and go try to throw it in school and fish. That's what you use for like a spook or a little popper or something of that sort for stuff like that. But right now, what I'm doing, throwing parallel to this bank, if you guys are wondering why I think this is a really good bank is because obviously it's got super hot. There is some fish pushed up on the bank. Obviously, if they're pushed up on the bank, they're gonna be on some cover. And this is a shady bank right here. As you guys can tell, there's, it's all shade. There's also a little bit of cover, pencil reeds, right down there. And then also you got a bunch of this slop, and then you got this whole little shade line. So that should have held a fish right there. I know some shallow water too, if there's any fish pulled up. Like I said, but there's no fish pulled up on any of these beds. There's ones that I'm catching are like the smaller males. And I can't even get my bait out far because I don't have any line like a dingleberry. I didn't even know. But we're gonna keep on trying. Maybe uh, I go walk over. Oh my gosh. That might have been a big one. That's how a big one eats it right there. I didn't even know he had it. He just sucked it down. He just went like this. So right when I had to, right when I popped it, it was already in his mouth. Oh, oh no. Oh, whoa, what? What is the cause of that right there? That was not good. that was a big one golly that was a big one. that was a big fish right there i saw his mouth wow right here in the shade in the slop that was a i can't believe he didn't have it got it that time came off sun oh that was about two and a half look at the boil right there oh, that might have been a different fish smack that freaking frog that first one though the first one was a whole nother animal. That freaking, 
mouth of that thing. I don't know how he didn't get eaten. I think that was right here where he that one hit. Guys, I just spooked a fish right here. <sighs> Look at this. What if I grabbed him? What if I grabbed him? That's a big one. No, you're not that. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a four pounder up here. My GoPro wasn't recording. My GoPro was not recording. Sorry, I can't say the word with an R. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my GoPro will shut off if, it, if I say that. But anyways, I walk back here and the freaking four pounder just sitting there. He's just sunbathing. Dude, look at look how shallow this is. Holy crap. Dude, that is that is like four inches of water right there. That fish was sitting right here. And of course my camera wasn't freaking. I meant to come check that before I started walking like that. And I tried to put the frog in front of his face. He saw me. He already knew. I tried to block him. I wanted to grab him with my hands, but <laughs> what in the world? Well, this is day two of the frog fishing adventure. I didn't want to really leave you guys off yesterday on like just a couple of fish. So I'm actually going to go out. This is actually the day that you guys are seeing this too. I haven't even started editing. It's two o'clock right now. This video is going to go out at seven tonight. So, so like I'm talking same time as you guys. So we're going to go out. We're going to try to see if this fish will actually bite the frog that we missed yesterday. I'm curious. I hope it's going to happen. We're going to go out here. We're going to toss it around. See if we can catch a few big fish because we only caught a few males yesterday and um, see how it turns out. But if you guys haven't hit the like button this far in the video, please do so. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and try to catch this launch. We're going to give ourselves exactly one hour. We're going to give ourselves to about three o'clock of fishing. We're going to go ahead and get it started. I just heard, did you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that. You hear that, that sucking noise? That's exactly what they do when a frog comes up under this stuff. We're gonna start off on this side where we hit first thing yesterday, and we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Let's see if we can catch a big fish. Let's make it happen. Can I catch one in the same spot? Yes. Yep. Right when it hit the water, same way. Same spot, this might be the same fish. Oh. Is this the same fish? Can someone tell me if that's the same fish? I don't think it is. I think this is smaller. Same spot. Remember when I caught two in the same spot? Look at that. This might be the first bass. Are you the same? Look at his little hole in his lip. Are you the same one I caught yesterday, buddy? You freaking fell for it twice, man. Let me see. What if we replay exactly what we did last time? That would just be insane. All right. So last time I could not get the release on you. Today we're getting the release on you. The beautiful, beautiful release. He is very dark. That was it. Oh my God, we got the release. <laughs> All right, that is incredible, man. That is so awesome right there. We're gonna go right back in there. What if we do it again? What if we did what we did last time? That thing literally hit the water and he exploded on it. Oh, that's incredible. What if we just like literally, oh, what, what? I think he saw me and ran away right when I reeled it up. Gosh, dang it. That was the freaking best one that would have came right here. It looked like he's about three pounds, two and a half, three pounds. God dang it. I was literally not even really making a legit cast there. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna toy around. And sure enough, right when I reeled it out of the water, there's a fish right behind it. The camera might have saw that. This pond's really clear. Gosh, that's annoying. Oh, I was about to say, what if I catch one like all in the same spots as I did yesterday. It's just like where the fish are holding. That'd be pretty funny. There he is. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Get you right up in here. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean, I mean to poke you. What is up with you skinny little males, man? When are the big girls going to pull up? Can you tell me? When the big girls? When, when are the main girls going to be here and ready to eat? You sucked it down like a big one, honestly. Pretty little fish right there. Nothing big. Like I said, all these fish are just all the males that are pushed up. All the females are still off. But that's when we come in here soon and hopefully catch them when all these big females are going to be pushed up and biting. But that's still a beautiful, one of the most beautiful bass that we've caught here. Beautiful colors on them. That is awesome. Thank you, buddy, for biting and get you right back in the water. Here you go, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh, there he goes. 